Hello everyone. Today's video is a little bit different from my usual art tutorials. Today I decided to do an art vlog where I talk about International Women's Day and share some tips for time management. But my rambles can get pretty boring if you have to stare at my boring face all along. So I added a time lapse of my painting Liberation in the background. This painting is done keeping in women in mind how we are born and how we transform and try to liberate ourselves. So I want to start today by acknowledging International Women's Day, which was yesterday. To an urban woman in a liberated environment, it might seem pointless to have a special Women's Day. But there are millions of women out there all over the world who are born in deprived environment, whether economic or uh, educational or health requirement. They do not have basic access to the basic uh, things in life like education, health and all that. And they are treated as burdens or objects all their life. And this day, we remind ourselves of them and try to do more, whatever we can do to reach out and help out. Now, if I have to think about one thing that women, and not only women, in fact, everyone in this world today is struggling with, it is time. Ever since I have been seriously pursuing my art career, along with having a full-time job and being a mom of a 10-year-old and many other things that life brings to us, I have always been asked this question, how do you get time to do all that? So today I decided to share my experiences, my thoughts and my tips on time management. And the funny part is that, that you might not be at all interested in art, but I am sure that you can still relate to the topic of time management. So I think you will learn a thing or two from there. And you can share your thing or two tips and tricks and techniques that you apply in your daily life to manage time. And we can learn from each other and get there where we want to get. So let's get back to the topic of time. So who doesn't have a busy life? Nobody. Even my nine-year-old son is super, super busy. First, let me tell you what are the different things that I need to handle. That will give you an idea about what I mean by being busy. I have a full-time job where I spend about 50, 60 hours every week. I am an HR professional, so I have tons of responsibilities over there. I'm a mom of a nine-year-old who, apart from academics, is into swimming and violin and several other things. I have a family of three where we have our usual chores of cooking, cleaning, laundry, grocery, and so on and so forth, and several other responsibilities in the family, extended family, and community. And then I have art. And just by art, I don't, as you know, since I'm on YouTube, it is not only painting and drawing as a hobby. I teach art classes. I create videos for this channel. For videos, I have to paint, edit videos, and so on and so forth. So there is a lot that I need to do just for art only. And the list goes on and on. So here's a few things or rather five tips or strategies that I want to share with you where you need to, where which will help you maybe possibly help uh, manage your time better. And if you have some tips that you would like to share, I am all yours for it. Because even in spite of my five tips on time management. It is not always that I get to manage it. So leave your thoughts in the comments, please. Let me get started. The first thing, very important thing that I do is prioritize. You need to figure out your priorities. You need to eat and sleep. If you go to school or have a job where you need to be present, you have chores to do at home, and in the community or for the family, but what after that? 
Okay, I understand you need to have some family time. You need to socialize. But how much and how often? Is TV time keeping you from pursuing your passion? What is more important to you? Can you give up Friday night fun or stop browsing uh, through internet aimlessly? I'm sure you can. And that is where the key is. Once you put an order to your priorities and write them out, yes, write them out. You know what you need to do and what you are doing. And that way, when you write them out, you are more committed to what you need to do. And that will set you on a right path path from the start. So write down what you want to do and what you're actually doing and there you will find out a gap between what you need to change. Second thing, routine. Have a schedule. Have a schedule for your day and week. I actually plan out three weeks at a time. I know my regular chores when I need to do my groceries or take my son to classes or do laundry or cooking and I have a set schedule for them and that is how I figure out where my free time is and I can block them for my art, making videos, doing editing and whatever else is on my priority list and then plan. So what's the difference between routine and plan? Plan at least for a week. Like I said, I at least plan out three weeks at a time and I plan out four weeks of videos at a time. Like what are the different art videos I am going to do in the next four weeks? So I know what artworks do I have to I have to finish within what deadlines. So I know my deadlines for painting, editing, writing, making notes and everything else. So plan, 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 and write everything down. If you have your plan in your mind, you will forget something, so that doesn't work. No no one needs to prove to be a memory genius. You need to write your plan and schedule, use reminders, and you are all set. And please make a plan that actually works. There are times where you will be stuck in traffic or waiting in a doctor's office or waiting to pick your children up from... Uh, uh, classes or even wait in a grocery store line more much more than you had expected so do not schedule 30 minutes for a four hours task or do not schedule just 30 minutes for a 30 minutes task have room for some extras keep some buffer fourth thing and very important thing is outsource your work what is a work that your spouse can do? What is a chore that your kids can pick up? It can be small things like putting their clothes back in their closet or in the right place or filling out water in your water filter or do a grocery store trip for you. Just let them do that. I know when you out, when when I say outsource, maybe outsourcing your cooking or cleaning or eating out instead of cooking these can mean that you're spending more money and that way is I'm not I'm not telling you to do that because I know that everybody has bills to pay already and everybody has responsibilities so spending money is not always an option for any of us so I understand that so what I'm trying to say is outsource whatever you can amongst your family members and let them know that you have these deadlines and that is why you're asking for their help. I'm sure your family, they love you and they will be able to help you out in your passions and dreams. So ask for help and get the help whenever you need them and wherever you can. Do not, do not, do not hesitate to get a team going because life is a teamwork you cannot do anything or everything all by yourself so make that happen and when I say planning and outsourcing there are many things that you can minimize like I have seen that I used to go to 
grocery store three times a week previously. Now I plan down, write down all the requirements and cut it down to once a week. And that too, I go during my lunch hours once a week. And that way I do not have to take out time from my weekends or my leisure time just to make a grocery store trip. So these are small changes that you can make in your life and that will give you room for to do so much more that you actually want to do to pursue your passions to get to the goals that mean so much more to you than your everyday life. Now I come to the fifth and the final point which says eat rest and exercise. What now? <laughs> That's what you're going to say right? Well some of you juggle multiple roles all of you juggle multiple roles and responsibilities and know how hard it is to get rest. So when you are scheduling and making plans, make sure to block time for sleep, which should be at least seven hours a day. For me, I like to take a short nap on the weekend afternoon. That energizes me and helps me do so much more in the other half of the day than if I just keep going on and on and on. So plan that and block that time in. So is for eating or cooking and if you do so for eating. And lastly, block some time for exercise it is so much important for good health because if you do not have good health no matter how much you schedule and prioritize and plan you will not be able to do the actual task because you're not healthy you're not feeling well so to feel well exercise eat well rest and by exercise I'm not asking you to go to the gym every day and spend two hours over there just do a simple stretching routine 10 minutes every day. Okay, let's bring it down to 10 minutes four days a week. Especially if you're an artist or if you have a day job where it makes you sit in the same place almost all day, then you definitely need to have a stretching routine and do some meditation, which is must for your health and sanity. And if you do not know what the simple 10 minute stretching routine is, I do have a video for a great stretching routine that is doable for everybody and very easy and very, very little time actually invested in it. I will put that in the link in the video. I'm sorry, I would put the link in the video description below and you can check that out. So there it is. There are all my five time management tricks. Now it's your turn to share yours. I would love to know what are your thoughts, what are your hacks, what you do. So share with all of that information in the comments. That way we build a community and we share each other's hacks and tips and techniques and build a life that we want for ourselves where we can put the time to things that we actually want to do, make our passions and dreams come true. So if you like this video and this vlog, please hit the like button and share this video to with whomever you want think would be benefited out of it because sharing is caring. And I would see you soon with more content like this and my usual art tutorials. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for spending your time with me and sharing with me how to better manage our time, your time, my time. Thank you once again.